Hi, you're eight. Um, Mr. Rogers here. Um, obviously, we appreciate you're not in school at the minute. Um, so what we've done is we've put together just some questions uh, and some additional information for you for your year eight options choices uh, based around business studies. OK, so what we'll do is you can obviously look at the uh, taster session PowerPoint that will be on the system. But what we've done is we've come up with uh, a list of questions that we tend to get asked at uh, year eight options uh, open evening. And obviously I will do my best to give you the answers to them. So uh, we'll fire away with the first question. OK, Mr. Rogers, if I was to ask you what business studies is, what would you have to say? Well, when we ask this, uh, at the open evening, everyone always answers, oh, it's a study of business, which is absolutely spot on, it is the study of business. What you've got to remember with business studies, it's real world, it's always changing. Uh, and when you look at what we're going through at the minute uh, with the coronavirus, uh, and you see the effect it's having on businesses, um, it's massive. Uh, so it's constantly changing. Uh, and what you probably don't realise is you actually have a very good understanding of business already from a consumer's point of view. You know, when you think of what you buy, food from McDonald's and so on, your clothing, Nike, Primark, etc., etc. Um, so you already have a, a good understanding. What we will do within business studies is try and take you sort of behind the scenes of how a business runs, what they need to think about in terms of uh, how they advertise their products. Uh, and the key thing for, for most businesses is obviously to make a profit. Okay, now what we're saying is uh, we're not gonna be able to make you a millionaire, unfortunately. Um, but if we do, obviously remember us. Um, and it's not just a course for those people that want to start their own business. Okay, it's just to give you a flavour about what goes into making a business successful. So we're hearing a lot in the news at the moment about firms that might fail because of what's going on. Um, Mr. Rogers, can you tell me why some firms do fail, like HMV, Flybe, and Thomas Cook, whilst others like Apple, Lidl, and EasyJet seem to be really, really successful? So it's all to do with sort of uh, profit and loss. Okay, the aim, as I've said previously, is for for firms to be able to make a profit. That sounds really easy in theory, but actually the practicalities of it is actually very difficult. Um, so what you will be able to understand is uh, businesses need to be able to control their costs uh, for things such as staff, uh, money they spend on advertising, um, as well as trying to increase their revenue, uh, try and encourage you to spend your money on their products. So businesses such as Apple are obviously very good at that. You know, people see the Apple logos. I'm looking at one on the screen at the minute. Um, and people will automatically pay what price they are charging for it simply because it is an Apple product. Okay, so if you've got that strong brand, that will encourage people to pay uh, a lot of money for those particular products. Other businesses, unfortunately, haven't been quite so successful. Their costs have, have increased um, and their revenues have decreased, which unfortunately has meant that they have led to business failure. This is all sounding like there's quite a lot of numbers in this subject. Maths isn't necessarily my strong point. Am I going to struggle with business studies? I'm not going to lie, there is an element of maths in business studies, um, but it's nothing overly complicated. Um, so you'll be looking at things like percentage change. Uh, you would be able to, or be expected to be able to interpret graphs, uh, pie charts, um, but it's nothing uh, highly technical in terms of from a mathematical point of view that you need an understanding of uh, and the fact that we're doing it over hopefully over the three years if there are issues obviously your teachers will be on hand to help you in any way they possibly can. Obviously none of us year eights have done uh, business studies before so can you tell us please what the teachers will expect of us when we're doing this subject? We would expect you to ask questions OK, we would like you to be able to come to lesson and say, sir, miss, I've just read about this. Why is that happening? Um, like I said, it is constantly changing the business world. So you having an open mind, being able to look through what's going on, uh, being able to talk about it. Um, and you would be amazed at the number of students who we've taught previously, who when it's come to parents evening, the parents have said, oh, yeah, we talk about that over the dinner table or that we talk about um, certain business related things that they've seen on the news. Um, so that is what, what we do. And obviously do your best. 
you know. Um, that's what we would expect of any student that takes business studies, to always try your best. So if I decide to choose GCSE business, what might it lead me on to in the future? Because it's such an open subject, it opens lots of doors for you. Obviously we have uh, business A-level, we have business B-tech, we have uh, uh, A-level economics, that's obviously within sick form, or you could go to college and do that side of it, or you could do an apprenticeship uh, in business studies. Business studies tend to go well with a lot of other subjects as well. It doesn't hinder you in terms of your choices. Uh, and then we have a lot of, uh, of people that go on to study uh, a, a uni sorry, study at university, um, whether that be specifically business, whether we look at economics, whether they go into marketing, whether they go into retail, accountancy, law, it gives you a good foothold to be able to, to go into those particular types of careers. Uh, if I decide not to do it at GCSE, but then want to do it for A-level, is that possible? It is possible, yeah. We um, we have people who do, don't do do it at GCSE and then go on to do it at A-level. And if I'm honest, uh, when we speak to people who have decided to do it at A-level, they a lot of them tend to say, oh, we wish we had done it at GCSE. Um, so that's always a good sign from our perspective that uh, they enjoy it at A-level, but also there's that element of regret that they haven't done it at GCSE. So can you tell me how successful the business studies department is? Well, we are one of the best at Gordano School. Um, and our reputation within the school uh, is pretty positive, I would say. Uh, and that's obviously backed up with the fact that I think it's half of year nine this year are studying business studies. So we are a popular subject, um, but we get results as well. Um, all of our teachers have, have got experience of teaching the course. Um, some teachers have done exam marking, so we know what the examiners are looking for. Um, but also as well, what you'll find is again, from, from parents evenings that, that we've, we, we've been at, a lot of parents actually say that business studies uh, is their favorite subject. So uh, we make it enjoyable, uh, we make it real. Um, and that's why a lot of people want to study business studies. That's very informative, Mr. Rogers. Thank no you very problem. much.